Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Carolisa here and in today's video I'm starting off my spring decorating series by my bedroom. I wanted to do a bedroom refresh and I'm doing a small change but it'll be making a huge impact when it comes to brightness and making it feel more 80 but also I'm still keeping the serene vibes using relaxing colors and a more neutral stage. Um, of course we're gonna be decorating for spring adding those beautiful flowers floral patterns and all the things that are bringing a that spring vibes to my bedroom so i hope that you enjoyed this video and if you are new please consider subscribing and without further to say let's get into this video well hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are our primary bedroom to give it a refresh you are seeing now that before right now it's messy we have moved things away because i'm repainting my accent wall that was a moody blue and i'm making it completely white this took us two days until the under blue tone was completely covered and dry to put things back after this wall is done, we are going ahead to start decorating and there's absolutely nothing wrong with this blue color but it's not exactly one of my favorite colors when we did make cover our primary bedroom for the first time I was trying to continue and mimic that blue color palette that used to be at our living room but since we did make cover our living room as well and I would paint the walls with a solid white and then we installed the white cabinet I fell in love with that change and I love how 80 clean and bright the living room looks like now and looks even bigger so I wanted to make this bedroom feels the same way but at the same time I want our bedroom to feel cozy and relaxing and now you are seeing the end result the wall it's now completely white and already dried so we have moved all the things back on its place and so after getting the painting done I'm going ahead to start decorating and first of all I just opened the window shades to let all the light comes in so as you are seeing now I'm making my bed and I wanted to keep it warm and neutral using this more earthy tones and this taupe color will go perfectly well with the duvet I'm adding later and I'm going to be showing you in a few minutes I'm finishing up the headboard part adding many pillows because I go crazy with pillows every night I use two or three pillows to sleep with and also I'm adding more of them for my husband and then I'm adding my white comforter I like adding layers to my bed like a hotel style and I also wanted to add a brighter layer to break the plain neutrals and then I'm bringing this duvet. It is a floral pattern design, but what I really love is the color palette. The main tag, it says that it's a green color, but it's more a taupe color with a mossy green undertone. I found it at Target and it's by the Dress Hall Collections and I loved it from the first time I saw it. I immediately thought it would go perfect for my spring decor, but still keeping the relaxed neutral color palette in my room you know that I will be leaving all the links I can in my description and for sure this duvet link as well down below in my description box and you see me switching up the sleeping pillows I thought the white one would be or go better at the bottom to make contrast against the beige headboards because I'm adding beige tones and earthy tones very similar to the headboard And then I'm coming with this oversized kind of beige creamy color woven throw pillows. I like the fringe details at the sides bringing that coastal look I like for the spring and summer time. I'm keeping at the center this lumber pillow that it's from Michaels and was on sale and I fell in love with this. And then I'm topping it with this chunky knit throw blanket in the natural color goes perfectly well with my color palette and I'm keeping it during this spring season time when the mornings and nights are still very cold 
and regarding to the lumbar pillow i saw it from another creator video it's a vintage inspired with a brownish and beige combination and you know i love that colors and that earthy colors so and even more if it is a vintage inspired piece but uh, you know this is one of my most favorite additions to this spring bedroom decor and I'm showing you a close up of this duvet. I think the floral pattern is very subtle, not too loud, and as well as the moody taupe and green undertone color. So it's really beautiful. And I still want to add a few things in my bedroom and finishing up this bedroom setting for the near future. But for now, I'm focusing on my main floor of my home. We are now working on changing the old furniture in our main living room and dining room area it would be a big change so probably that would be the next video so keep an eye for the next refresh and makeover and for my dresser I'm first adding this pair of metal candlestick holders I got them on Hobby Lobby and to keep things romantic sweet and cozy I'm adding those candlesticks they are from Target by the Threshold with Studio May collection in the blush kind of a mauve color that will be matching perfectly well with the florals I'm adding here and then I wanted to bring that vintage spring vibes by adding that moody vintage lakeside and white flowers painting I got this at Etsy to print by my own and I'm also leaving the link in my description I'm using this wooden frame that I already had and I'm pairing this painting with this framed art also vintage inspired that I got at Hobby Lobby and next to the pictures I'm bringing in this ceramic face it's by the studio maggie collection from target and i wanted to add my absolute favorite florals this year from target i got several of these flowers and i think it's a beautiful pink color i think they would be adding that sweet pop of color and also that subtle feminine toe shape to my bedroom and they go perfect in this face but i think they will look beautiful everywhere And next to the candle holders, I'm placing this book on top of it. I'm adding my favorite candle I'm keeping since my fall decor, but I truly love the rustic but modern look of the metal canister. And then this corner it's bothering me since it looks very empty and I don't like seeing empty spaces so for now I'm just adding this wooden frame featuring a lavender stem illustration and I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's simple but I love that simplicity of this one and then at the bottom I'm putting my favorite woven wicker basket. It's always very useful to put in blankets and throw pillows at night and then just throw in it this knit throw blanket for the cozy and warm feeling and i would love adding something else to that corner like a accent shirt to create the reading corner with a lamp or a small table or a small tree but for now as i told you before i'm focusing on adding new furniture in my living and dining area so i'm keeping my budget for that purpose and keeping my other bedroom plans for the near future and for my nightstand, I wanted to create a pretty arrangement for me, so I'm adding that beautiful rustic black face with some brownish distress that I already showed you in my Hobby Lobby Spring Shopping video. And then I'm adding those gorgeous and beautiful faux dry peonies I found at Michael's. They look very realistic, and I love the off white on the flowers pad and the moody mossy green on the lips. I'm also linking these flowers in my description box just in case you're interested i'm adding that book at the middle to create accent and also add some height to the next decor on top of the book i'm placing that ceramic saucer i got at walmart and i showed you in my last video and on top of it i'm putting back my favorite candle that i like to keep on my nightstand but i love the brown woman lid that's coming with and next coming to my husband's nightstand i just just wanted to take advantage and do a quick wipe down of this area just to make sure all of this is clean to add new decor
And then for my husband nightstand, I'm keeping it simple. I also added a book to raise his decor. And then I'm adding this candle holder featuring a rustic faux stone texture. I also added a candlestick with the same color of the book at the bottom. And I'm bringing back my husband diffuser with reeds and also our romantic picture. And this is the end result. I want to give you a quick tour for you to see all we did. I love to keep a serene bedroom, creating a cozy ambience, no matter the season. In general, I love keeping a cozy home throughout the year. I also wanted to create that romantic and feminine toe shab with those details like the candlesticks with that beautiful pinky blushy color and the pink stems. I love that combination and also I love the peonies on my nightstand. I love the off-white of the penis matching with the walls and the beige lamp but as a bonus I'm also adding some decor to the master bathroom as you can see it's very plain and bare so I wanted to take advantage of my primary room spring decor and adding something in here so first I added that wooden tray that I already had and then the black ceramic face that I got at Target by the dress haul collection with Studio Maggie and also also this gypsum last stems that I got at Target just for $5.99. They are very affordable, pretty and long. I love them and I think two are enough for a nice wispy look. And next I added a scented candle with an interesting canister shape. Very organic looking and also I wanted to swap the hand soaps for this one I found at Marshall. And the organic botanical scents are perfect for spring. They also match the color palette and then my organic eucalyptus soap and I also wanted to add a new set of towels I found this set at Target and they have a pretty green tone and they look elegant and match with the green of the gypsophila stems and then just putting everything on its place and that was it for today's video i hope that you enjoy spending time with me as much as i do filming this for you i hope that you got a lot of inspiration for your spring refresh or decorating stay tuned for my next living room and dining room refresh and makeover see you in my next video bye